My sisters are trying to get me into the front. I've never seen it this busy. A crush of people. I don't know how to get to my campsite. Good morning everyone, so it's currently day three at Glastonbury, so I'm all dressed and ready to go. Time currently is midday, I think. Now, what time did you get home last night? Last night, this morning, I got home, I think like seven, where I was literally dead man walking. I crawled into the tent and I just, I fell asleep, like fully clothed. I still had my hat on. So I just got my bike and now we're headed to the pyramid stage to watch an artist called Joy Crooks. My sisters are trying to get me into the front. Walking through crowds. We need to get in there. But how? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Ain't that the line? But don't you fuck me. Joy Crop, she was really good. I don't know her music, but I really enjoyed it. And now we move closer to the pyramid stage. I've never been this close. We're now waiting for Easy Life. I don't know their music either. Gigi, you okay? I'm really tired. My face is going through my soul. I'm just quite tired now. I can only stand up for so long. We're heading back to the viewing platform to go pick up my bike and then possibly get some food. I really want some pasta. These toilets are fine. Like, they're actually fine. I can deal with them. The boardmasters, you couldn't even use the toilet because if you tried to piss in the port loo it would fill up with urine and pool over your, like, shoes. So I was just walking along and this guy comes up to me saying he watched my 2019 vlog and really enjoyed it. So if that was you and you said hey, it was really nice to see you and I hope you had a really good Glastonbury. So guys, we just found pasta. I'm literally crying because I've been searching all day and night for pasta and we have found it. Can I get the beef ragu with garlic bread please? Okay, so let them have it, please. Yeah. Mom, first guy was really good. He obviously didn't skip leg, arm or body day at the gym, that's for sure. The second guys, but it did make me laugh, so that was the main thing. I don't think what they were doing was very COVID friendly though. Proper deep throating ping pong balls. Drumming was a bit weird, I had to leave. I'm sorry, I'm up for most things, but that drumming, it just never stopped. And I was like, okay, cool. It's a bit repetitive, where's this going now? I didn't go nowhere, so I was like, okay, I'm done with the drumming now. But you know, very talented, much respect for them. Don't escape. Dan, break the whole figure. <laughs> 
Oh, man alive, Dad, what did you have for lunch, mate? Three, two, one, go! Oh. Well, look. Oh. oh, shit, 30, Christ. Oh. 20 seconds! off without my family and I've just chilled in the circus area for like nearly two hours and I've actually had the best time so <laughs> I'm not even annoyed about it and RD is on at 7.45 and I really want to see him I don't know it's weird like I love musicals but I also love British rap it's so weird my taste in music I'm just gonna go back to the tent put on some warmer clothes and then head back out so I'm currently at a crossroads I don't have to get to my campsite I think I need to go that way but I'm not too sure that's the thing about Glastonbury it is so big that you literally can get lost by taking one wrong turning. There's a sign up there. I think I need to go that way. It's really good. There's an app that you can download on your phone. It's a bit like Google Maps, but for Glastonbury. The only thing I wish they would add is a place that you want to go and then like a pinpoint and then it gives you like the blue line of how to get there. That's the thing that the app doesn't do. It just tells you like where it is on the map and then where you are and then you sort of have to figure out the in-between. Maybe that's just something to think about for future. <laughs> A bit of dust just went in my mouth. Hey, Glasgow. Hey, all. There's literally bare dust in my mouth. But <laughs> literally, all the, the wind is really strong. <sighs> this ground is so unstable. Like my mental health. <gasps> Another pizza and pasta store. You know how last night I said, what would be really great if it had a pizza and a pasta store? Because then it would be two things in one. And look what I just bloody found. That store is literally a genius. That's exactly what I was looking for. Where was you last night? All right, I'm back at home now. Well, not home, but the camper van. Tally's passed out in a tent behind me. The one artist that I've wanted to see this entire festival is called RD, and he's a rapper. I really like musicals, and I also like rap. And I think because rap tells stories, and it's the same with musicals. Musicals tell stories. And yeah, I just like know a lot of rap songs, weirdly, in my head. Okay, currently I'm headed towards the Lonely Hearts Club. I've never been to the front for an artist before and I'm so excited. I'm determined to get to the front, so I'm camping at the front to get my space. I'll be like Fiji, bitch, I'm posted up with hats and sleazies. That's the big you ready. Basically, Paul McCartney's going on right now, but we just came from Paul McCartney because we had to charge the bike, and so we had to cut through the Pyramid Street to get to our tent. Literally, it's so manic. I think they probably oversold or something because I've never seen it this busy. You can't even get through the street. It's like a crush of people trying to get through. That's why I didn't want to go to Paul McCartney again because I don't want to go down that street again. I'll literally get crushed. I can watch Paul McCartney on iPlayer later and have a much better view. Sometimes you've got to make sacrifices for people that you want to see for a matter of comfort and safety. So we're going to head to the John Peel tent and watch Jamie T. My sister thinks that we can get to the front.
Unity. Second thing I have to say is I don't give a flying f anymore. You ready? Are you There was like four people crowd surfing over my head. One of them landed on me. I honestly can see why people do drugs here. You cannot do that on repeat sober. So we just come back from our campsite and I'm off to find some pasta because last night was not a successful mission. And today we found pasta, but I was not satisfied. Ellie and Cheesy are off to dance in Arcadia or something. But honestly, I don't think it's for me. I'm just doing me GC style, do you know what I mean? So after many an hour and days trying to find pasta, I finally found pasta. Delicious. This is going to sound dramatic, but that pizza and pasta place was the best thing I've eaten at this festival so far. Those churros were really nice, but I sort of regretted them as soon as I bought them. There was some women though at the churros bar with some thick, and I mean thick with two C's, black country accent. And black country accents are hard to know what they're saying as it is, but this woman was drunk out of her head. So a black country accent minus being sober is like incoherent. You don't know what this woman was saying. And she's like, do you want churros? Do you want churros? And I had to give the workers the side eye being like, I don't know this woman. I'm not related to her. Because they were like looking at me like I knew this woman. And I was like, I don't know this person. But yeah, I'm about to head home because I'm tired. I've seen about four ambulances since I've been here, so I hope whoever they're going to is okay. So let's try and get home. So I'm back in my bed now and I'm literally so cold because I accidentally left the window in my cubby open all day and so all the cold air is in and I'm literally freezing. So I'm wrapped myself in like 20 blankets. I think it's like 3am or maybe 2am but a lot of AMs and I'm very tired. So yeah, really great third day and roll on the fourth day. See you tomorrow guys. So now we're just waiting for Diana Ross. It's very, very hot. Some people have already started fainting. Shut off that gate. There are just so many people here right now. Bye. See you later. It's been a mad one, I can't lie. And I feel like death.